a friend um, that I made in Atlanta, her mother had come to Atlanta during what proved to be the period of her decline and her final illness, but she had a good six months um, before she really took that turn for the worst. And she had come from Winnipeg and she had spent a lot of, she'd made Aliyah and then she had come back from Israel and um, lived in Canada again and in the States. And so she was one of these cosmopolitan Jews who collected a lot of languages, but Yiddish was very close to her heart from her upbringing in Winnipeg. And so she was having memory problems. And her daughter, my friend, asked, could you come by and just sing with my mother in Yiddish? It would bring her a lot of joy. And she was very musical. And so at first she was at home and they had a piano and we would sit and we would sing Yiddish songs at the piano. And then um, after she had gotten sicker and she was hospitalized, my friend asked, um, would you come by the hospital and sing for my mother? Maybe you could bring a student or something that would really just make her very happy. So I went in one day and I said to my class, all right, so we're learning these songs. There is an old Jewish lady in Emory Hospital who would love to hear you sing these songs. Are any of you willing? And every hand went up. And so unfortunately, before we could actually get there, she passed away, but she had really been the impetus for us to form this group. And it came to my attention in the interim that there's an organization called Naturally Occurring Retirement Communities, NORC, that has chapters all over the country. And the idea of this organization is to help provide scaffolding and support for seniors who are aging in place. Instead of going to assisted living, they remain in their homes and they have regular meetings with luncheons and cultural programming in order to provide some stimulation. And there's a NORC chapter that meets right in the neighborhood where I live and next neighborhood from over from Emory. And so the director of this NORC chapter asked, well, I hear that your students sing. Would you be willing to come and put on a performance? And so we did. We sang for probably 70 or 80 senior citizens, not all of whom were Jewish, but most of whom were Jewish. And then the chapter of um, local Holocaust survivors heard about us, and they invited us to come and sing. And that was very moving for my students. Um, and so, yeah, we have made a little career within Emory um, at some Emory events, Shabbat dinners, um, wonderful Wednesdays when every student organization shows up on the quad, um, and then also beyond Emory. And so this has become a form of what they like to call community-engaged learning. And we sing and we take it out into the community and it's been good all around. It would be nice if I personally had a little bit more musical talent, um, but I feel like when you're singing Yiddish songs to Holocaust survivors, the actual uh, caliber of the musical performance is secondary, if not tertiary.